Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm back on your screens again, which can only mean one thing. It is the start of a new week and we have a new word to talk about. And this week, the word that we're thinking about is dialogue. Immediately when you think of dialogue, you're probably thinking, oh, it's all about my words. It's all about my speaking. Mrs. Cottrell's going to ask me to think about what I say, use my words wisely, no swearing, no bad language, no screaming, no shouting. And you're not wrong. You know, that, that is dialogue. But we're going to think about dialogue in a different way today. So let's begin. Let's take a moment to pause. to listen and we welcome Jesus's presence into our encounter as we make the sign of the cross together in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our scripture today is really short. It's when you're going to hear me use this week in presentation centre worship as well. But I'm really going with it today because I just think it fits our purpose. Now, we need to understand that for us, dialogue is a method of communication. Yes, it's having a conversation, but a conversation works in two ways, speaking and listening as well. It's between two or more people. And it's not just the person talking, but it's about actively listening. Are you really paying attention to what's being said? Are you really making the effort to understand the other person as well? In my journey of faith, and perhaps in yours as well, dialogue plays a vital role for me, not just in connecting with other people, but connecting with God as well. And I have this really beautiful piece of scripture. You might think sometimes it's a bit insulting. I'm going to show you it in a few different ways from a few different versions of the Bible over this week. But it's very simple. And when I get to the end of it, I'd love it if you joined in with thanks be to God as your response that you've listened to my dialogue. So the scriptures from the book of Proverbs, it's from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13. And it's just this spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. It's a really short verse. It seems a little bit insulting sometimes. It's sometimes, you know, oh, you're a foolish person. And I've got some different versions of that scripture to share with you over this week. But it's really clear and it's really simple. And it just says, be an active listener. It's really easy to rush into speaking without truly understanding, without listening. It's something I'm really guilty of. I speak over people. I don't let people finish their sentences. I am trying very hard to become more of an active listener. But if I actually follow the scripture, the Bible's teaching me that it's really unwise to speak without listening fully. In my relationship, not just with God, but with other people as well, I need to strive to listen and to seek understanding before I actually respond. You know, if I speak without really listening, actually, I'm not really valuing the other person. I'm saying, oh, what I think is actually more important than what you're saying. And I have a lot to learn from you, from everybody that I meet. So this week... We're all about being active listeners. In our explanation of the word dialogue, we're all learning to listen more, whether that's to your friends, your parents, teachers, anyone. Be a listener. That way, we're going to have much more effective dialogue. So what are we going to do about it this week? What's our mission? How are we responding? We've encountered the word. We're going to try and listen, be active listeners. I can guide you through that. But can we be missionary disciples this week? Can we live out that word? 
You probably have more ideas that you can talk about in your tutor groups, but I've got some for you as well, and they're really simple this week. First and foremost, let's be an active listener. Let's make sure we truly are listening. We're not just like or on our phones, like, yeah, yeah, well, right, right. We've all done it, haven't we? Try and this week be an active listener, and not just in school, not just with your friends, but at home with your families as well. Show that you value the people's words, the people that are speaking to you. And also, my second challenge to you is see if you can have some dialogue through prayer. Perhaps you can encounter God this week. Perhaps you might want to share your thoughts, your feelings, your questions. Now, one way you can do this is to come to Mass with us on Friday, but also through your tutor times as well. So perhaps have a look at your dialogue with God, not just in the words you use, but how you listen back as well. And I'm going to invite you to do that with me now as we say our prayers together. Heavenly Father, we pray for our world torn apart by division and conflict. Help us to engage in meaningful dialogues that promote peace, understanding and unity among all nations and peoples. Lord, we lift up our communities, schools and families. May we foster open and honest conversations where we can learn from one another, resolve conflicts and grow in love and respect. God, grant us the wisdom to have a dialogue with you in prayer. May we listen attentively to your voice and seek your guidance in our lives. And let's take a moment to offer our personal prayers of intercession in silence. And we ask Mary to intercede for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So let's do it, everyone. I'm going to try. I am going to be an active listener this week. I am going to engage in dialogue and I am going to engage in conversation. I'm going to come and talk to you, but equally, I'm going to listen. I'm not going to, I'm going to try and not speak over you. And I'm going to try and understand people better, deepen my relationship with you, deepen my relationship with God. Let's do this, everyone. Let's have a beautiful week and let's really be masters of our own dialogue we end by making the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful week everyone. Bye.